In the face of an ongoing recession and evolving consumer preferences, several well-known fast food chains in the United States are at a crossroads, leading them to make difficult decisions as they navigate these challenging times. Unfortunately, this means that many beloved fast food establishments will be closing their doors this summer. In this video, we provide you with an updated list of these closures and delve into the underlying reasons behind these significant developments. Before we explore the details of each fast food chain's struggles and the subsequent closures, we kindly request your support by subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Number 1. Dairy Queen A beloved establishment known for its iconic ice cream selection is closing the doors of dozens of its locations in Florida and California. Among these closures is a 65-year-old store located on Sanibel Island. Franchisees have attributed these shutdowns to rising tensions with corporate leaders. Number 2. Krispy Kreme, renowned for its hot and fresh donuts, is planning to close an unspecified number of stores in 2023. This strategic move is part of a revamped business model aimed at streamlining operations to boost profitability. Krispy Kreme is now concentrating on distributing fresh products to both franchises and grocery stores. Number 3. Chuck E. Cheese In an attempt to avoid another downturn amid the ongoing recession, Chuck E. Cheese has announced the closure of 45 locations this summer. These closures will affect stores in various states including California, Florida, Massachusetts, Ohio and Oklahoma. Number 4. Quiznos Once a significant player in the sandwich sub shop industry, Quiznos has seen a substantial decline in recent years. The onset of the retail apocalypse in 2017 initiated a wave of closures, with only 671 stores remaining by 2020. The pandemic triggered yet another round of shutdowns. As of 2021, Quiznos was generating less than $100 million a year in sales. Facing franchisees' insolvency and bankruptcy, the chain's financial stability remains precarious. It is anticipated that only 154 Quiznos sandwich shops will remain open in the United States by the end of 2023. Number 5. Burger Inn. Famous for its miniature hamburgers and rapid expansion, ultimately became a victim of its own success. Facing lawsuits with franchisees and allegations of deceptive contracts, the chain incurred substantial financial losses. As a result, it has been closing stores since 2018, and it is projected that only 125 Burgerim outlets will remain in the United States by January 2024. Number 6. Steak and Shake A once thriving chain boasting over 620 stores nationwide has been grappling with financial challenges, which the pandemic exacerbated. Factors such as heightened competition from larger fast food chains, sanitation and labour issues, and poor sales performance – have led to the shutdown of 130 stores in 2023. The chain is now shifting its focus towards enhancing the operations of its profitable locations. Number 7. Papa Murphy's Papa Murphy's CEO has issued a stark warning in the wake of a challenging year. While the pizza giant is celebrated for its take-and-bake service, it has witnessed a significant decline in sales in recent times. The repercussions are hitting hard, with franchisees deciding to shut a staggering 72 outlets, as reported by Restaurant Business. Eric Lefebvre, CEO of the parent company MTY Food Group, candidly addressed the situation in number 8. Qdoba, a Mexican-inspired fast casual chain, has been facing tough competition from rivals like Chipotle. With 67 closures since 2018, another 20 Qdoba locations are saying goodbye to their customers this summer. Number 9. Pi 5. Celebrated for its concept of customizable pizzas cooked in just 5 minutes, is facing a crisis. Due to issues like staff shortages, higher ingredient costs and persistently underperforming locations, a staggering 72% of its stores are set to close in 2023. This leaves only 25 Pi 5 locations projected to remain operational in the United States by 2024. Number 10. Noodles & Company Known for its diverse menu inspired by various cultures, has faced financial challenges since 2016. With a net loss of $71.7 million reported that year, the chain has been closing underperforming outlets. In the last quarter, Noodles & Company lost an additional $8 million 
prompting the closure of 48 locations in 2023. The company is now concentrating on improving its profitable locations. Number 11. Taco Bueno, known for its Tex-Mex cuisine, is closing stores due to poor performance. As of December 2022, the chain had 139 locations, and an additional 23 are set to close in Texas and Oklahoma in the summer of 2023. Number 12. Crystal. A Georgia-based restaurant renowned for its tiny hamburgers filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy as it grappled with a massive debt load. To regain financial stability, the company is closing 40 restaurants in 2023, with the potential for additional closures if the recession persists. Number 13. Chick-fil-A. While ranking among the top 15 largest fast food chains in America, is also feeling the pinch of financial challenges. The chicken shortage experienced in recent years has led to a series of price hikes, lower sales, increased costs, and supply chain disruptions. Consequently, several Chick-fil-A locations are being forced to close their doors. Notably, the chain's first-ever restaurant, in operation for over half a century, has been included in the list of closures, signifying the severity of the situation. Number 14. Dunkin' Donuts a cherished coffee and bakery chain, is closing approximately 450 outlets in the mountainous regions of the East Coast. This decision is primarily attributed to the limited revenue generated by Dunkin' stores located within gas stations, contributing to less than 0.5% of the chain's sales. Funds typically allocated for maintaining these outlets will be redirected to support more successful locations, focusing on Dunkin's future which includes expanding its menu. Number 15. Popeyes, known for its mouth-watering fried chicken, has faced its share of challenges in recent times. Beyond the initial closures that began in November 2022, the chain continues to experience declining sales and reduced profits. A unique concern in California involves the potential shuttering of several locations due to violations of child labor laws. Teenage employees have filed complaints alleging that they were forced to work long hours and late shifts, even skipping school for shifts that extended past 11 p.m. The legal implications and negative publicity from such cases are adding to Popeye's difficulties. These closures, across various popular fast food chains, highlight the harsh realities faced by the industry in an ever-evolving economic landscape. As consumer preferences shift and financial challenges persist, these chains are taking steps to adapt or consolidate their operations. While some may weather the storm and re-emerge stronger, others may face an uncertain future. The impact of these closures extends beyond the business realm, as communities lose not only cherished dining establishments, but also sources of employment and community engagement. As we navigate these times, it remains to be seen which of these fast food chains will successfully adapt, and which will become casualties of the ongoing economic challenges. The evolving landscape of the fast food industry reminds us that even the most iconic brands must remain agile and responsive to changing times. Thank you for watching this video. You might like this video suggested here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.